In the following demonstration, we'll see how PLM Collaboration Services opens up the power of 3D Experience Platform for collaborative electrical systems development. We'll use the example of a car seat where the mechanical structure is designed in CATIA V5 and the electrical harness is designed using 3D Experience CATIA. We start with a CATIA V5 user using the 3D Experience Platform where all the data is stored. We can select all the data visualize the data created in V5 and in 3D Experience. We can select V5 data and open a V5 session, just as we traditionally do, and from there continue to the mechanical design. Now we are in wire harness design using 3D Experience CATIA. We select and build the session consisting of V5 data for mechanical and all the electrical data that is 3D Experience CATIA, including the airbag equipment and all the connectors. We place a connector in the airbag unit. And we start routing the bundle from an existing bundle, which is at the bottom of the seat. We go through a support. Again, this support is 3D Experience CATIA. The rest is V5 data, which we're using as a context through which to route our bundle. The bundle is more or less space reservation, guided by the surface. There is no direct link. It is simply used as a reference to create the shape of the bundle, just like we would do if using complete 3D Experience CATIA. We connect to the end of the connector we just placed, and we can add a branch point here from the bundle just created to another connector for the grounding of this airbag unit. We can give it a little bit of over length to enable the easy connection or disconnection of the cable. And we're going to do the same at the top using local slack between the two red points. And we want an over length of two millimeters to make it easier to disconnect the cable. We have capabilities to check the harness to see if everything is connected, that all the connectors and all the bundles are connected using network analysis. If everything is green, as it is here, then all is connected. Again, these are all 3D experience electrical functionalities that help the designer create his harness much more easily than was the case in V5. The next step is to import the wires, the conductors coming from our own schematic systems or an external ECAD system. We can import them so we have them in our session. They are not yet routed through the bundle, but we have a from to check and we have a from to for every wire, as you can see here in blue. The next step is to route the conductors inside the bundles we've created to obtain the wire length and calculate the diameter of the bundles based on the number of wires inside and each wire diameter. We can analyze that using link review. In the highlighted section, we have two conductors and in the grounding of the airbag, we have only one. And you can see the diameter is different when we have more wires. Of course, we also have the length calculation because we know which wire is going through which bundle. We can analyze that here or we can create reports for the whole session. Now we see the role of the project leader who doesn't have access to CATIA, just access to the platform. He can create his own dashboards to visualize or analyze data which is on the system. And he can just drag and drop the combination of V5 and 3D experience data into a 3D play session. Here he can visualize and check, highlighting the just created geometry better understand the status of the current design without having to access CATIA, either V5 or 3D Experience. That concludes this short demo. We've seen how 3D Experience Electrical provides a first-class user experience, which improves quality and reduces design time. This collaborative electrical systems development platform brings together all stakeholders. We've also seen how existing CATIA V5 processes can continue to be used but the value of V5 data is extended by making it available to all. And we've seen how powerful new functionalities can supplement existing processes with 3D Experience CATIA.